We are here at Shamaya Lynn's um, studio. It's really nice, you guys. Like, you can always tell when a building has character. Like, this building has character. Wait till we get inside. All right, you guys, I just got done shooting with Shamaya Lynn for a Palmer's, um, shoot, for a Palmer's advertisement. So she about to get a shout out on Palmer's. <laughs> and Essence, it's for Essence. All her info in the description box because she just opened today and she needs some new clients. So yes, I will have all of that, but now, Special thanks to Palmer's for taking care of me because they always do. Love them. So yeah, let's start our room tour. Over here we have our kitchen area. It's very nice. Actually love the color of the walls over here. Love it. And then over here, a little office area. If you guys are wondering where the heck I am, I am in Arkansas, Bentonville, Arkansas for the Bentonville Film Festival. Palmer's brought me out here and um, the first day I had to go to the festival and also Essence had a fashion show. So I got a little bit of footage of the fashion show. It was basically the fashion editor recreating their cover looks. So the models basically dress like Carrie Washington, Angela Bassett. Um, the Palmer's model was actually Janelle Monet. The fashion show was amazing. That's Myesha of Curls, also Talia of Talia Wajin. There were a lot of big wigs. Um, that's Dawn, and she is like the buyer for Walmart. There were so many people there. Um, it was pretty awesome. Curly Edgy and I also had a big spotlight at the um, show. There was a cash bar, dancing. These guys were so funny. They were doing like the kid and play thing. Yes. <laughs> um, I had to mute the music, of course, because you know how YouTube is. But yeah, that was the fashion show. Bentonville is absolutely amazing, you guys. So the next day, I had to work the festival again. Um, I didn't get footage on the first day because I flew in. I had to work, like immediately, like get dressed, go to work. It was hectic, y'all. I was at the Road to Essence booth at the Bentonville Film Festival. Of course, I was there with Palmer's. It was so much fun. We had a photo booth. We were giving away samples and just meeting and greeting the attendees. <laughs> At the booth, I was also alongside um, Melissa Chanel. She is the, she's exclusively with Cantu. And also Brenda. Brenda was um, a part of this company called Aventus. And she basically, you know, designed the booth and handled all of that. But we had fun. Um, we had fun like with the photo booth. Whenever we did the photo booth, that's when people would be like, oh my God there's a photo booth and then they would come and want to take pictures as well and can we 
get a like yes hit that like button because I actually had my hair out and I didn't put it in a puff I left it out all weekend I'm so proud of myself and I hope to see you guys in New Orleans July 1st and 2nd for Essence Fest and the New Orleans Natural Hair Expo That was our day two of the Bentonville Film Festival. It was a lot of fun, but of course, I'm so tired. So I headed back to my room to get some rest. Shout out to Palmer's. I took a nice shower and used their body cream. This stuff is amazing. It's the coconut oil formula. I usually use the um, cocoa butter formula, but I also like the coconut oil too. It's their newer collection. I use this oil by Palmer's. This is their rosehip oil. I need to just get ready. And don't worry, I have my wig on just because I don't want to be on here looking like silly from the color purple. Yeah, so my time in Bentonville was amazing. If you guys didn't know, um, this is where the first Walmart was built and started. And if you get a chance to either Google or to visit this town, you will see the impact that Walmart has on this town. Like, they own all of that, y'all. All that land is theirs. Um, I was able to visit the first Walmart. It's actually a museum now, but it is still a store. And when I visited, I I am a very sensitive person. So when I, you know, I don't know, when I experience something, I really try to apply it to myself. And when I visited that first store, it was so small. I mean, the smallest store ever. But that reminded me of myself today. Like, I haven't even scratched the surface of what I can achieve in life. So I felt like I was that first store. And to see how big Walmart has grown and to see how much he, t he takes care of his own town, it was just inspiring. And I feel like that... I don't know. It's just inspiring to me. I hope you get what I'm saying and I hope it inspires you as well. And don't forget to enjoy the process. Enjoy that come up. That's the important part. This is the best gear I've been using lately. It's telescopic um, carbon black by L'Oreal Paris. And I know this has nothing to do with makeup, but I just decided to, you know, get that out of my system since I was rushing to get to the airport. I definitely wanted to do a voiceover and just inspire you. <laughs> so I just put lashes on. As you can see, it looks completely different, right? This side has the lashes. This side has the lashes and this side doesn't. This is my final airport style. Just put on a sweatsuit, my hat that says bad hair, bad hair day. I think you guys saw this in my last vlog. So yes, I have my Adidas on. Some leggings. Some leggings. And a sweatshirt. So this is how I travel. So I'm like really laid back with my outfit, but glam on the face. But just chilling, you know? I always travel with a glam face. Especially, you'll see my passport, y'all. My passport is, like, so bomb. So I got to make sure I look like my passport, okay? And I'm usually vlogging, so I try to stay looking cute. All right, you guys. So I just got to the airport. I got here super early because I thought it would take forever, like, to get through security and everything. But it's literally nobody in this airport. Like, I got through security, like, in, like, two minutes. So now I still have like two hours before my flight, which I'm kind of happy about because now I can get some footage for the vlog. Um, I think I did a good job at vlogging this weekend. I didn't do a lot of talking, but I just wanted to like capture like, you know, my atmosphere, my environment. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm about to do some vlogging for you guys. And I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. You probably won't see Taylor, Sky, or Devin that much in this one, but hey. This is my channel. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey y'all, <laughs> I'm back home about to film. The growing literally never stops, y'all. Oh, and I'm about to film this tutorial with Flawless Hair by Gabrielle Union. Oh yeah, so I'm going to share some of the music that I like listening to as well, so stay tuned for that. It's not really a playlist, but you know. This video should be up most likely on Friday, um, but I wanted to share the vlog first. I did a blowout and decided to do like a big bang and then the back in like a curly bun rather than a puff because y'all know this is my signature hairstyle. I love my puffs, but I just went for a, a curly bun right yeah <laughs> um but thumbs up this video if you are excited about that upload i can't wait to share it with you guys so what do you guys think i still need to give away some cases but i'm waiting for a give i don't know y'all i suck at giveaways but anyway so I just um, wanted to show you guys what I'm listening to since I can't really sh let you guys hear that much of it on my vlogs. I need to clean my screen. Focus on communicating cause I just need the time and place to come through. If you guys are interested in any of my backdrops or the mounting system, lighting, all that good stuff, I will have the links in the description box. Also, if you're interested in, in this um, hair care line, Flawless by Gabrielle Union, that'll be in there too. For my vlog, the hey. B roll footage. I am done filming for the day so now it's time to edit again this goes up on Friday and yes you're reading that right this is a free download to Final Cut Pro 10 or X that's what I use um, just download at your own discretion because as you guys know when there's free downloads there's always a possibility your computer could get a virus so just be mindful of that but everything's been going good for me so far so i wouldn't be too concerned this vlog is almost over but i did want to show you guys my passport photo i'm also in ebony and yeah this is my checklist y'all so much to do but first my passport you guys I am officially going out of the United States for the first time. I have an event in London with Palmer's UK and my passport photo is a bomb. So I just wanted to share with you guys how I got a bomb passport photo. So I just went on to Google to find a template to make sure that my photo met all of the requirements and measurements. I just saved that to my computer and then opened that in my Photoshop program. If you don't have Photoshop, you can get a um, download or a trial on adobe.com. 
So the picture has to be 300 pixels and it has to be two inches by two inches. And they are very strict about that. So that's why it's important to have a template so you can make sure everything is right. So I just made sure that my um, first layer or my file is a two by two, 300 um, pixels. And this is my photo. It's one of my headshots that Everyday Lavin took for me. Um, it is an edited photo, but you definitely can tell it's me. That's why I'm always glam when I travel, y'all. <laughs> I have to make sure I look like my photo, okay? Um, so these are the layers. The first layer is my photo. The second layer is the template. And I just changed the transparency so I can see my photo and the template at the same time. And that way I can match up the chin area, the hairline, the top of the head. Um, it's important that the eyes meet up as well. Of course, some things are going to be off. My neck is super short. So as you can see, my neck is shorter than this lady's. My shoulders aren't where her shoulders are. But I definitely made sure that my head, my eyes, and my chin lines up with the template. So once you have that, um, you can take away the template. And this is the photo. So I just copied and pasted. Oh, this was the other photo actually. And I could not use this one because I'm smiling too hard. My earrings are too big and my hair is cut off. So I couldn't use that one. This one was perfect. It's a more natural smile. Um, but I wasn't sure at first. So I just printed both of them just to see what they said at the post office. Um, and they approved them. So I'm excited. I have this photo paper that came with the ink I buy um, so I was so happy I have this so you just put the photo paper in your printer photo paper is in there I'm gonna turn on my printer to cut it out I have a professional cutting board, but I didn't feel like getting it out. So I'm just using scissors, but I would recommend using like a professional cutter to make sure that it is perfect because they can turn your photo away for anything. They are very, very strict. Um, but thankfully, mine was approved. I was really worried, but it got through. Um, also, if you really are lost by what I'm doing, you can go to um, the government's passport site and you can also use their um, generator online. I didn't want to use it. <laughs> um, and also all the forms are online. It's very easy to fill out. Once you have it filled out, you have your birth certificate, your driver's license, and the photo. You just go to your post office and they will process it for you. I did expedited processing, which said it would take about two weeks, but really it came so fast, like in a week and a half. Normal processing is six to eight weeks. That's too long. I needed mine ASAP because I leave on May 27th and I come back on the 29th. So if you're in London, I'll see you there. Oh, look, I'm in a magazine. <laughs>